This design is going to be the most simple. I'm going to show you how to do this. So this is a Kristen Farr example. Um, here's another painting. These are done in the same way and in the same style. They are just painted in different ways, and we'll get into that. So these next ones here, these are my examples that we will um, we'll talk about those more. And this one here is actually the one that we are going to look at in this video. All right, so to get started, what you guys are going to be doing is you're going to trace around circle your largest circle. Mine is labeled circle number one. Now I'm going to find the diameter, and this circle is 11 inches, so it's going to be about five and a half inches there in the center. And you, these halves might not be perfect, but do your best. And if you really want to get really precise, you're just going to have to use some more measuring. So now go ahead and we are going to draw the half. And we're going to divide it into four pi pieces by drawing it in half the other way. Now make sure you know where your center is and you are going to start splitting these pi pieces in half, making sure that your ruler is on that center dot. And you're going to do this several times. Now the more you do this, the more areas you'll have to paint in as far as your design, which it can look really cool. So now I'm going in and I'm splitting my pie pieces in half again. So I have four on the top and four on the bottom and I'm going to double that once again, keeping that ruler in the center of the circle. And I'm just going to continue and go around to complete that. Okay, now that that is finished, I am going to take my next circle, which is number two, which is a little bit smaller. Do your best to center it so it's even and just simply trace around this. I'm going to do this a couple more times. So now I'm going to grab circle number three. Simply trace around. Once again, make it even. It's not going to be perfect. You can see some of my shapes aren't quite the same size, but... If you want them to be perfect, you're just going to have to do a lot more measuring. Smaller circle number four, line it up, trace around it, and then we're going to go ahead and finish it off with circles five and six. All right, so now we're going to paint. I'm going to show you the one that kind of looks like steps. Um, the possibilities for this one is really endless, so you'll have tons of choices with this. I'm just showing you one example here. So I'm just going to be painting in, and the corners are going to touch as if things are going down, down a stairwell. And I'm just going to continue to follow this pattern by using tints. So I'm mixing the color with white, and I'm going to go around and around and around. So this is just one example, but there's tons of ways. So I'm just going to do a quick time lapse here so you can kind of see what this looks like. 